Good morning. Hey, yeah. Well, today I have these, I have these, these Pyrex, Pyrex bowls to to ship. Well, I have to pack them anyway. Today's Labor Day, so nothing's going out today. But I have uh, 11 packages I need to get done. So I'm gonna start with these ones. I'm not gonna do all the packages on on the video. It's just for these Pyrex bowls. The other stuff is pretty simple and straightforward most of the time. So I mean, it's not that hard to package sneakers or a brass vase or things like that so anyway I'm gonna start by taking some of my bubble wrap and folding it over so that it sits down in like that so that I'll be able to put that in there but before I put that in there I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard like this and I'm gonna I just I just keep the scraps around for when I'm doing other packages and, and uh, typically use them so I'll make it so it'll kind of fit like that. And then I'm gonna cut the cardboard in at the corners. So that the flaps will fold in when I push the cardboard down in there, like that. And then I'm just gonna take my other bowl, push it down in like that so it's in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it stays in there good and tight like that. I don't want it moving around. So it's gonna stay in there good and tight when I do my when I when I wrap it. So basically that's 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 the most important part of how I do it right there. And I would do the same thing if I had another bowl that was going inside. I would just do the same, do it the same way like that. So that's the important part right there. You don't want them banging against each other inside the box, and you don't need to sit. Well, I don't, I'm not going to say you don't need to, you, I mean, as with anything else, this is how I package them, and I've had very good luck with it, without anything getting broken, so it's not necessarily the way you should do it, I don't, I don't see a need to put these in separate boxes, although, depending on, 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 on what we're dealing with, I could actually put these in one box, and then put that whole box into another box, to just double box the package but I don't think that's going to be necessary this time. So then basically I'm just going to take the bubble wrap. I'm going to put it over here like this. I'm going to try to hold that down nice and tight like that somehow. And then just flip that over. And just try to keep that bubble wrap good and tight around it. And then just, just, just keep rolling it like that. Okay, so that's, well, maybe I'll get a little more in there yet. Yeah. Alright, that should be good for, for that part. Like I said before, I, I gotta cut this, I gotta cut my bubble wrap because the, the perforations are not very good on it. So, that's what I get for buying the cheap stuff. So, anyway, so then this, this part here, I'm gonna. Well, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna. I'm gonna take another long. Uh, I'm gonna take some more bubble wrap. Get it so I don't know. There's probably six sheets here, maybe something like that. You can do as many as you want. And I'm gonna fold it over. And then I'm gonna take this. Like put that end in like that. Take the folded over bubble wrap. And wrap it right around, right around like that. Do that on the other side, fold that in. Same thing, right around there, just like that. And then just keep running, running it around the outside. And that really should be pretty much good to go. Just like that. So. I think what I'm going to do is I have this bubble wrap here. I'm just going to take that and lay that over top like that, just to give me a little bit extra on the on the lips of the bowl. And then again, just put my tape around it. Yeah, I do have. A tape gun that I could put this on. I don't like them. 
so I don't use them. And that should be that should be well. I don't like that. I don't I don't like that there on the bottom. It doesn't seem thick enough. So I'm gonna just take a little bit more bubble wrap and I'm just gonna pad the bottom of that. I just don't like the way you can you can hear it. I don't like the big bubble wrap, the, the big bubbles. I just I don't care for them. Was say a half inch or an inch size. So I think just like that, that should be good. Yeah, that should that should be good there, and then. And it's just a matter of finding a box. And let's see. I know just the box I want. This is the 13 by 13 by 9 outside diameter UPS boxes, large mailing boxes. Their number, the number on them is. Uh, O dash B O X seven. If you want to order those from the post office, so 